Now you may want to create your own libraries for Kinetic Text Animator. Maybe you've bought um, a bunch of art, you know, you really, whatever you, maybe you, you've taken your own photos, whatever it is. If you have um, assets that you want to make, uh, Im import and have kind of libraries of your own, let me show you how you can do that. So um, in another video, I show you how to import them uh, and you can check that out in the member dashboard or on the YouTube channel for Kinetic Text Animator. But um, in this one, I just want to show you how I'm setting up the assets. Now, you can, um, basically what you're doing here is you're finding your asset. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, make these a little bit easier to see. Let's make them bigger. And um, so actually what I'm doing um, whenever I'm creating the files, I go ahead and keyword them then. But it may have, so you may already have existing files that aren't keyworded. And so all you really need to do is go in and you want to rename them. And notice that what I've done is every keyword has got a capital letter. So it's the each keyword is, is set up that way. Now, um, bear in mind when you're creating your keywords, if um, let's let's say that I had cartoon as this one kind of it sort of looks like a cartoon opening, you know, um, Warner Brothers or whatever, um, Looney Tunes. Um, I could have cartoon here, and if they did a search for car they would find it also because it will it's gonna if they do like in this particular case if they did a search for c-o-n-c they would find this even though it's you know that's not the full keyword so um, just bear that in mind uh, so the, w one of the reasons for that is in this case notice here I've got circles well if they search for just circle singular they're still gonna find it but I go ahead and include circles in case they add that s so just be aware of things like that and um, um, look, it's it's sometimes pretty tough to come up with uh, keywords. Now, sometimes what I like to do is I like to go to a site that's already got keywords. So I might go to a search. I might come in here to Graphic Rivers, one of my favorite sites, to check that out. And I might do a search for, let's say I've got vehicle or car or something, right? <clears throat> and I want to know others. So, And I, what I do is I look for something similar to what I'm keywording. And let's say that I have a picture of a car like that, and I just go down here, and they've got a bunch of keywords. So you can get ideas uh, down here as well. This may not be the best example, but um, if you are really struggling to find some keywords, that's that's one way I like to go about it. Um, I also go to thesaurus.com and get ideas uh, there as well. But once you have um, your files keyworded, note that I try to keep my my libraries kind of down to like 25 files or less, just because it it takes when you're loading them in Kinetic Text Animator, it takes a little while to load if it's got a ton of files in it. So let me just take like um, let's, let's try this one here. See, it just took just a little bit of time to load, and so if I doubled that, it would just take just double the amount of time. So I try to, you know, have them in bite-sized little chunks. Um, hopefully you're really not looking at them that way. Um, you're, you know, sometimes you might be, you might be doing uh, something that is only on, you know, I don't know, like the sky or something, and you want just sky images. And so you might actually pop in there, but hopefully a lot of times you're just leveraging the actual search engine, which is why you're doing the keywording. But just bear in mind, I like to just keep my, uh, like I said, 25, 30 at most in a folder. But that's just me. You can, you know, whatever you're happy with is fine, of course. And um, so I, that's, that's the way I like to do it. I like to, you know, come in here, make the thumbnails a little bit bigger so I can see what the content is. Go ahead and name them. So I just rename the files uh, and each keyword is capitalized. You can actually also come in here and do them with hyphens like this. But um, I, I just find that just is, it's a little bit added time. And, you know, and if you're doing a lot of these, you're wanting every shortcut you can get. So a lot of times if I have the same thing over and over again, you know, it's, it's like and it's really kind of the keywords are the same. I'll copy them and then, and then I'll add a V2, V1, V2, V3 for version, version 1, version 2, version 3. If, you know, it really doesn't make sense for me to come up with a, new keywords for something that really is pretty much the same. Uh, you'll note here that, that I didn't do that. I'm just trying to give you little tips to help you uh, go faster. Uh, anyway, when you're done, you want to go ahead and name the file the folder uh, like this. It's got lowercase and hyphen in between the the, the uh, deals there. And so when it's inside of Kinetic Text Animator, what it's going to do, as you see here, is it's going to capitalize the first word and it's the letter, and it's going to remove those hyphens and give it a space. 
and so it's just it's what it's that's the format that it uses and what i uh, recommend is that when you, you, you know when you're working you can import multiple files so just put them into a folder that contains multiple so when you're importing them they're actually going to select this this main folder that contains the subfolders you don't want subfolders within subfolders uh, again i cover that in a separate video but this is just how you set it up and then uh, once you've got it all set up like that you can import your own library of uh, photos audio or video inside of kinetic text animator